the armed forces of Russia and Ukraine reported the front-line progress in the last 24 hours. The armed clashes continued in some areas June 5. Operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops and artillery of the armed forces of the Russian Federation have neutralized 96 artillery units of the AFU at their firing positions, manpower and military hardware at 73 areas. One Ukrainian UAV assembly facility near Dnipropetrovsk has been hit by high-precision ground-based weapons, Igor Konoshenkov the Russian Federation Defense Ministry spokesperson said. The command and observation posts of the 102nd Territorial Defense Brigade and the 24th Mechanized Brigade battalions of the armed forces of Ukraine have been hit close to Poltivka, Zaporizhia region, and Dzerzhinsk, Donetsk People's Republic. In addition, the AFU control posts have been hit close to Slavyansk, Donetsk People's Republic, and Sumy. Lieutenant General Igor Konoshenkov, the Russian Federation Defense Ministry spokesperson, said in total the armed forces of Ukraine lost 433 fighter jets, 236 helicopters, 4,486 unmanned aerial vehicles, 424 air defense missile systems, and 9,431 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles. Also 1,114 fighting vehicles equipped with MLRS, 5,009 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 10,688 special military motor vehicles have been destroyed during the special military operation. The other side from Kyiv, the armed forces of Ukraine in an official statement June 5 said Russia lost 410 servicemen in a single day, including 11 tanks, 11 armored combat vehicles as well as 12 artillery units and 14 drones. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky thanked to all strategic partners who help Ukraine. Russia and Ukraine conflict has been lasting for 467 days. There is still no peace settlement between two sides. Terima kasih sudah nonton, jangan lupa like, subscribe, dan share ya!